Hello everyone. Hopefully over the next three minutes you'll get a flavour of my PhD, which I like to describe as polymer AM factor or friction, but it's more formally titled investigating the friction and wear properties of polymer centred components. So as you may have already started to work out from the previous slide, this doctoral work merges knowledge between polymer laser centering with a field of engineering that you might be less familiar with, and that is tribology. So tribology is the science and technology of interacting surfaces in a state of relative motion, and it covers friction, lubrication, and wear in all mechanical contact situations. So as part of this doctoral work, one question I asked myself was, can we alter or reduce the friction and wear properties of the parts that we produce? And one potential answer I thought might be interesting to explore would be to see if including solid lubricant particles within our nylon 12 polymer matrices brought about any significant effect. So this is what I did. I created three different composite powders which involved blending small amounts of gra either graphite, molybdenum disulfide or PTFE with nylon 12 via rotary tumbling. Um, so these SEM images, albeit Quite difficult to see without zooming in, show that blending these mixtures via rotary tumbling allowed us to achieve good solid lubricant dispersion within our, within our nylon 12 matrices with little particle agglomeration too. And to my excitement, we were able to build parts. So now that we have parts, how do we go about measuring the friction and wear properties of these samples? Well, there are numerous ways to do so, but the testing configuration we decided on was by using a pin and disc setup which simply put is a very advanced record layer where the vinyls are our laser centered samples and the needle is our contacting steel counter body. Um, so if we now take a look at the resultant friction properties, we get these traces. I haven't got time to go into too much detail about, it, about these, but the main takeaway is that nylon 12 with the addition of PTFE was the only composite material to have reduced friction properties. This was, as, this was by as much as 50% during high load testing too. Um, however, conversely, when looking at the resultant wear properties, the addition of BTFE increased the amount of wear incurred, but the inclusion of molybdenum disulfide and graphite both significantly improved wear resistance. Um, and upon subsequent analysis, we found there to be a link between wear and tensile properties, um, and these were specifically ultimate tensile strength and Young's modulus. Um, so in summary, I found that including small amounts of solid lubricant within nylon 12, it was possible to induce quite a significant change in the friction wear properties of the parts that we produced. Thank you very much.